Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel today and today we're going to be discussing this new perfume that I bought which is called Exalté by Fumi Monet. So if you want to hear my thoughts and how I feel about it then keep watching. But first we're going to be discussing the notes which says here on the Bella Aura website the top notes is pink pepper and lemon, heart notes is Turkish rose, jasmine, osamanthus, I think it's osamanthus, orange blossom and then the base notes is vanilla amber benzoin musk and sandalwood okay so and by the way this has a magnetic top which is pretty cool look at that that's so cool but anyway um when i first smell this okay so when i first smell this you can definitely pick up on the lemon and the pink pepper but the pink pepper is not too peppery like it's not just overbearing like certain perfumes that have pink pepper in it i cannot deal with it you smell the lemon and then eventually for some reason i smell like the jasmine and the vanilla a little bit but that doesn't really come through until maybe like an hour later it's very pretty it does have a slight rose scent but it's not too rosy so if you're the type of girl that hates rose i feel like you can tolerate this one because it's not just boom in your face type of rose scent it's not like miss dior um uh, oudo perfume or miss dior absolutely blooming where the rose and the that perfume is prominent this is not really prominent in like that oops drop something the rose is not prominent in this perfume at all um it's very slight it's very feminine now i'm starting to pick up a little bit of the orange blossom and the vanilla however the orange blossom is not that's not prominent either i feel like the most prominent note in here on my skin is the lemon the jasmine and a little bit of vanilla in here as well it's kind of like a citrusy fresh slightly floral slightly sweet perfume it's very complex there's a little bit of an oil up here so i feel like this is like even though it's this perfume i feel like this is an extrait for some reason because it does leave an oil on your skin i would say um when i bought this i bought this in thursday yeah i think i no i placed the order last week but i got it wednesday or thursday and i've been wearing it pretty much every day the longevity is great i feel like this lasts on me for seven to eight hours but by the maybe the sixth hour i think it became skin scent however this is the type of per perfume that's very feminine um very pretty but it's not your average ordinary basic perfume i feel like it has a lot of character to it and i feel like this is perfect for going on um, a brunch date or a breakfast date, something you wear during the day or in the afternoon. This is not one of the perfumes where it's cloying and you can basically smell the person before they smell you. This is more of a little bit more intimate, but not too intimate where it's like Killian Princess where you have to really be up on somebody in order to smell it. I feel like you just have to be around that person or in the same room as them um, in order to smell this. I love the name Exalté. I feel like it's very pretty. I like the um, the design, how the bottle looks, the cap, um, also like the signature as well. It's very chic and classic, and this is how I feel like the perfume is. It's very classy and chic and not basic, but not like in your face as well. I feel like if you get headaches from perfumes, and but you still want to try something, I feel like this is perfect for you because this is not this is not a in your face annoying type of perfume as you go by the day when i smelt this at my job um you will smell this as you're moving going about your day or if you walk past somebody kind of close they'll smell you um this is very beautiful and complex i love this a lot um, fumi did her thing with this perfume if you don't know fumi monet I could tag her TikTok and Instagram. You probably have seen it before. She's always talking about perfumes, whether it's cheap, affordable, niche, designer, everything. By the way, this is a 3.4 ounce bottle. And I feel like it's worth the money. 
um some people is complaining about the price for whatever reason and it's like there are some people who have perfume that's more expensive than this and they don't have a problem so i don't understand why well i do understand why people complain it but we're not gonna get into that because that's a whole nother story i feel like it's worth it and i feel like the quality is really good um i can smell this when i'm getting ready for work and i leave my room to do something and i come back i can still smell this in the air um what else I love the bottle. The bottle is like glass. I don't think it's like a cheap plastic at all. And it's just very pretty. She did her thing with this. I absolutely love it. I feel like this is perfect for springtime, summertime, really all year round, but in particularly those seasons because when it starts to get hot or a little warm, sometimes you don't want anything that's too um, sticky or sweet on your skin because it can give you a headache. I feel like this one will not give you a headache. I feel like this is perfect for that time and she really did a good job i love this i love the packaging everything is a 10 out of 10 with this perfume i feel like the packaging the bottle the juice everything the longevity the sillage the smell all of that i feel like it's just perfect i feel like it's beautiful i feel like it's classy and feminine and that's it for today i am finished with my video so like comment subscribe and i'll see you guys later bye